Our next question comes to us from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and it says, Does man have a spirit before he's born again? Is an unsaved person only body and soul? No, man, whether saved or lost, is body, mind, and spirit. The thing that happened, and I think you need to go back to the beginning in order to get some of these basic facts, is that when God created man, he created man, body, mind, and spirit. And because man was spirit, God had breathed into him the very breath of life, that is, the life of God so that he could communicate with God, and we're told that that's what took place at the beginning. Then man disobeyed God, and God says, in the day that you eat, you'll die. Now, he didn't die that day. He didn't die till 900 and some odd years later. That is physically. What did God mean? Well, he died spiritually because when God came down, man ran from Man no longer had any capacity for God. Now, man today has a spirit, but he's dead to God and has no capacity for God. The unsaved person does not have any capacity at all for God. We need to recognize that. We today are very critical sometimes of some people, but you must recognize they're unsaved people, and they have no capacity for God at all. I think it was wrong to try to force from our Puritan ancestors the question of the, they called it the Sabbath day, it was not the Sunday blue laws on an unsaved world. They squirmed under that, and they hated the church because of it. And we need to recognize they had no capacity for God. They do not recognize God at all, and we should try to win them. Now, when we win them, then we're the ones that should recognize the Lord's Day Sunday and keep it and glorify God on that day so that an unsaved person is body, mind, and spirit, but he's dead to God. Now, when you're born again, that spirit of man now is given a life, a new life, and he now has a capacity for God. I think that's one of the glorious, wonderful things about coming into a right relationship with God is that you become a real man and a real woman for the first time. You now have a capacity for God and to love him.